So acute cough, I can't do a pulmonary talk without saying something about acute cough, especially in the outpatient setting. Number one cause is always going to be virus. It's always going to be virus, maybe some bronchitis. You know, etiology really depends on the history and physical exam. You always want to rule out detrimental things such as I have a cough and high-grade fevers and chest pain uh, and things based on physical exam. I wouldn't get chest x-rays on everyone unless you do suspect a bacterial pneumonia. That's important. I wouldn't give antibiotics to everyone unless I truly, truly suspect bacterial sinusitis. Imaging doesn't confirm bacterial sinusitis. We get that with viral sinusitis all the time. And ACE inhibitors, you know, very, very, very common for patients to be on one. And remember that you could have that cough based on the bradykinin. And it usually happens within one to two weeks of starting the ACE inhibitor. And most people, once you stop it, it discontinues, you know, relatively quick, but some do linger sometimes. And of course, the go-to board answer is if you do want to be on a RAS drug and you can't tolerate an ACE, definitely think about, you know, giving an ARB. Good. Like Losartan. <laughs> so how do we treat acute cough? Very, very symptomatic is going to be very important, giving reassurance. And the last bullet point is just to, you know, I know we all I do it sometimes too. Sure, here's some antibiotics. We really have to try our hardest not to give antibiotics for resistance and to prevent C. diff. Subacute cough, only one slide on this. Why? It's really what happens now after the initial insult. You kind of had that post-nasal drip. You still have inflammations of the bronchi. And of course, it may have flared up your asthma. The one thing we think about in that subacute cough is bordetella, which is why we want to make sure our individuals are up to date. If they say they're coughing and they're vomiting, we could, or they had the classic whoops, you may want to think about bordetella. We have seen it in older individuals.